take a little time out of your Sunday to step out of your mind and to step into your beautiful heart. So my name is Lisa. I am excited to bring you this meditation on behalf of Dakini. Um, yeah, grateful to them, grateful to you guys for, for joining in and following. So let's take some time to settle. So when you're ready, just sit down, close your eyes, and just settle into your body. Settle into the ground, into the earth, into some stillness. A little time out to step away from the mind. Our minds can take us into this place of fear, especially at the moment. So my aim is to take you out of your head and into your heart. So let's focus on that to begin. And the best way to take you out of the head and into the heart is to focus on your breath. When you focus on your breath, it brings you into the present moment. So the right here, the right now. When you focus on your breath, it takes you into the present moment, drawing you into your heart. When you're in your heart, you're in this place of a higher vibration. When you're in your head, you might be in a place of anxiety or fear, which lowers your vibration. So let's take some time to focus on raising our vibration. Settling into the ground, into your breath, into your body, into this space. And if you haven't already, I ask you to close down your eyes. You can have your hands maybe open, open up to receiving. Or if you feel like you need to ground, connect more to the earth, to that place of stability and security, then the hands can be down. And just taking your focus, your focus internal to your breath. It doesn't need to be any particular breath. But what I do ask you to do is to try and calm down the breath. So lengthening, lengthening the inhale. and lengthening the exhale. The thing with meditation is we all think that to be able to meditate, we have to completely still the mind. Now the mind is there to think. And sometimes that mind can be busy so if you're finding it hard to focus, then don't be mean to yourself, don't be harsh on yourself, just take some time to continue to focus on the breath. And every time you get drawn into thoughts, focusing or get lost in, in a thought or trying to work something out, the first step to making a change, to becoming more aware, to focusing more, is becoming more aware that that's where you've gone. As you breathe, send the breath right into the belly, into the chest. So on your inhale, allow your belly to fully expand. And on your exhale, allow the belly to release, to draw in, to expel the air. You can 
continue to focus on that. So as you inhale, the belly expands. And as you exhale, the navel to the spine expelling the air. If your mind wanders, if you go off, you come back, back to my voice, back to my words, back to feeling, listening, and connecting to your breath. Become aware of your heart beating in your chest. Maybe the heart's beating fast. Maybe it's slow. Can you focus on slowing your heart rate down? As you focus on the physical heart slowing down, can you take your focus to your energetic heart, your heart chakra anahata, situated right in the center of your chest? So we have seven main chakras. And our heart chakra is chakra number four. And the color of this chakra is green. So right now you might visualize a green light in the center of your chest. As you visualize this green light, can you visualize this green light becoming brighter, becoming more expansive? Not only filling your whole torso, your whole chest area into your belly, but also expanding outside of yourself. Staying focused on this green light, becoming brighter, becoming more expansive. But also at the same time, becoming a little softer. Right now we're being told to disconnect with touch to others. For obvious reasons, it doesn't mean we can't stay open and connected via our hearts. Feel the energy that our hearts can give out of love, compassion and connection. So keep your heart wide open. And using this time that we have to connect a little deeper to yourself. Creating that feeling of deep love, internal love for yourself filling yourself with love, with breath, with prana, life force energy. Because when you fill yourself up with all these things, you're able to keep giving out to others without feeling that sense of depletion.
notice the rise and the fall of the belly and the chest as you breathe. Notice by just sitting and breathing for a few moments, a few minutes, a small part of your day. Notice how that can take you out of a busy mind. Notice how that can give on you some sense of calm, stillness within yourself. And if you're new to doing this, then also be kind to yourself that actually it might take you a little bit longer to find that. But understanding that meditation is a practice. The more we practice, the more we do, the easier it becomes, the more powerful it becomes. Can you draw your shoulders back a little more? Can you sit a little taller and open your heart? even further. Visualizing that green light, that green light becoming more expansive, but at the same time, soft. Feeling the whole of the chest, the belly, the torso. Also expanding around your body, that sense and feeling of love coming from your heart, extending out. feels right, bring your hands, your left hand to your heart. Anytime you're feeling anxious, anytime you find yourself in your head, it's too busy, you can't calm down, you can't slow the thoughts down. Place your hands on your heart. Place your hands on your heart and just focus on your breath. Coming out of the mind, out of the ego, which can create anxiety and fear, that low vibration, and stepping into the heart, coming into that place of love, that high vibration. Deepen your breath as you feel your heart beating in your chest. Notice the sound of your breath and the quality of your breath now compared to when we began the meditation. Notice the sensations in your physical body right now. Mm. 
notice perhaps the change in the mind. Notice how you're feeling emotionally. And there's no right or wrong to any of these things. You might feel good, bad, joy, tears. When we begin to slow down and actually stop, actually giving our chance a sense, a time to feel. And when we feel, we heal. Two more breaths, two more long, expansive breaths here with your hand on your heart. another one. Release your hand back to the knee. Let's open our hands up to receiving. Receiving, connecting with each other, connecting with those around you. Connection doesn't always need to be touch. You connect with a smile, with a look, or just giving off that sense of love, that feeling, that energy of love, of presence, of calmness and peace. That is catching. Feel your body, feel your sit bones connected to the ground, to the earth, to the floor. And be aware and stay present in the energy traveling up and down your spine. Stay present and aware in the energy that's surrounding your body. And keeping your heart wide open, becoming this vessel of love and light staying in this place of calm and peace within yourself. And whenever you find yourself in that place of fear or anxiety, place your hands to your heart and breathe into your heart. And this might be a continuous thing at the moment, but keep using this, keep trying this and keep connecting to this place of love, this higher vibration. Some movements in your fingers, some movements in your toes, just coming into your physical body. And let's bring your palms together. Your thumbs to stand into your heart space. Connect your palms. Now you head to your hands in deep gratitude of this time together to connect, to be with each other to slow down, to come into this place of love and stillness. Thank you for taking your time out of your Sunday for meditating with me, being connected through me, even virtually through a screen. Thank you so much. On behalf of myself, Lisa Kjordan, Dakini, have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Namaste.